Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Oris Divers 65 Carl Brashear limited edition of 2000 pieces in bronze. You can see this Navy Diver inspired 2016 Basel World novelty. Purchase it and its commemorative set on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this watch with additional accessories included in the sale. And there are many high resolution images for your desktop and naturally complete pricing details for this and our entire collection of Oris time pieces. Now the watch on my wrist is impressive on several levels. First, the Oris Divers 65 is just objectively one of the best vintage tribute style watches on the market. An entry level watch, it is in competition with a large throng of rivals for the vintage dollar in the entry level segment. But there's more to it than that. This is also one of the most appealing versions of the Divers 65, so arguably the best version of Oris's best watch. Add the Carl Brashear background and the fact that the watch is a wonderful patinated bronze, and you have a cool watch that's a class leader, best in its own model line, and then of course has a wonderful backstory. The watch wears easily on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist. It is based on the 42 millimeter version of the Divers 65, so that's the dimension from 9 to 3 across the round of the case, not inclusive of the crown. It's relatively slim, all things considered, and 13.7 millimeters includes that dramatically domed plexiglass inspired sapphire. You get that same plexiglass distortion with the scratch resistance of sapphire. Vintage evocative without compromise. From lug to lug, the watch is 50.5 millimeters, which gives it a broad stance across the wrist, so this one wears better on a large wrist than the the 40 would, but nevertheless, I would still say that a wrist as small as 14 centimeters in circumference, maybe even an oval 13 and a half centimeter wrist, could wear this watch with security and style. Now, it does have more heft to it than the the steel models. I don't know if this is something I'm imagining or if bronze truly is a little bit heftier, but in the hand, it seems a bit more solid, and I get the same impression when it's on the wrist. The watch has relatively short lugs, but not indecently so. Vintage inspired, it does stay fairly true to its 1965 source material, as since it is 42 or 40, depending on the variant, Oris is able to extend the lugs without cropping them off too short, so the watch maintains its period aura without creating fit issues. The strap is a beautiful contrasting stitch, sheer cut flank, calfskin in dark brown, also calfskin on the underside, very soft and supple. Though this is a brand new strap, it feels broken in. It has that kind of buttery slick, buttery soft feel to it. And there is a Oris bronze pin buckle, suitably patinated to a company for easy on the fly adjustability. The case of the watch is incredibly handsome. It's a sort of matte bronze that varies across its creases and planes. The creases themselves being slightly polished by either Finishing or simply the consequence of having been worn, this watch is a relatively recent addition to the Oris catalog, and this particular variant is exceptionally fresh, so I feel that anything you see on this case is by design and manufacture rather than the course of patination in service. You know, this isn't something like the Panerai PAM. 382 Bronzo, which has been around since 2011. None of these Carl brochures have really taken on their patina. Unidirectional rotating bezel. It is a true dive bezel, luminescent, unidirectional rotating, 100 meters water resistant. It's, it's a sports watch in every sense. You're going to want to throw it on some sort of textile or rubber strap, but this is a watch that is designed to get wet. Carl Brashear, the namesake of the model, being the first African American to qualify as a US Navy master diver, uh, perhaps even more impressively, subsequently disabled. He was partially dismembered and lost parts of his legs, and he was able to qualify once again as a Navy diver, so impressive on both counts. So an impressive namesake and a watch worthy of its namesake. The bronze is impressive aesthetically, but the dial is what might steal the show. It is a gloss blue, gleaming, it, it has the, the luminescence and the depth of lacquer. I would not be shocked if this is a lacquer dial, and it's accentuated by the immense distortion provided by that huge domed sapphire. You'll also note that the watch does have rose gold hands and indices. Now, I'm sure in this price point they are rose gold plated, but what's important and what I want to focus on here is that the loom itself is also what Oris describes as 
medium radium patina. So inspired by the 1965 original, it's not the kind of cloying dark brown, almost bronze colored simulated patina loom you'll see on some models. It's more like the vanilla simulated aged, but but subtly aged luminescence that you'll see on the 2018 Jagera LeCoultre Polaris Memovox Limited Edition. It's exactly that, but the presence of the rose gold plating on the hands and the indices compounds the effects. It's quite gorgeous. Other than that, simple, beautifully symmetrical, minimalist text. You can see water resistant, the water resistance depth, Oris and automatic. We're not writing a book Rolex style here. Is a paucity of language that I appreciate. You also note that the date window is probably as I would say diplomatically applied as possible. Not everyone is into a date on dive watch, and some feel that vintage tributes, whether the original had a date or not, should never have a date. I happen to like it, and I think it adds to the practicality of this watch. This is not a stunt watch. This is an everyday at the office watch. The date is practical for that purpose. It's been beautifully anchored, so symmetrical, the dial remains, and with a small aperture and a monotone disc, it doesn't crowd out the principal aesthetic, which is simplicity. Now you also note that the watch is relatively slim, 13.7 with a domed sapphire. Take off the sapphire, this is probably just over 12 millimeters thick. You could absolutely wear it with a dress cuff. It's everyday reliable with the Solita SW200 inside, automatic, bi-directional for a smoother action than a unidirectional wind, 38 hour power reserve, beating away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. It does feature hacking seconds, so when you screw out the screw down crown and you pull the crown to extract you do stop the seconds hand to synchronize and it features a quick set to rapidly cycle the date. You can see this handsome and dressable, diveable, all-purpose Oris Diver 65 Carl Brashear limited edition of 2,000 pieces in bronze and purchase it on our website. The Oris Diver 65 Carl Brashear for taking the plunge into the briny deep. A true dive watch in every sense. You can see right down to the unidirectional rotating bezel with glowing index. A complete dive watch of 2,000 pieces in bronze looks as good by night as it does by day.